stay, ruby breasted warbler, stay. And let me see thy sparkling eye, O brush not yet the pearl's tongue spray, nor bow thy pretty head to fly. Stay while I tell thee, fluttering thing, that thou of love and emblem art. Yes, patient plume thy little wing, whilst I my thoughts to thee impart. When summer nights the dew's best, when summer suns enrich the day, thy notes the blossoms charm to blow, each ope's delighted with thy lay. So when in youth the eye's dark circle speaks pleasure from its circle bright, the tones of love our joys enhance and make superior each delight. And when bleak storms resistless rove and every rural bliss destroy, not comforts then the leafless grove, but thy soft note is only joy. E'en so the words of love beguile, when pleasure's tree no flowers bears, and draw a soft enduring smile amid the gloom of grief and tears. Written in six quatrains and set to a rhyme scheme of A, B, A, B, the poem lifts and falls in a decidedly delightful manner. It appears to be written in iambic tetrameter. Each line is of four iams, an iam being an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. The uncomplicated form of the poem is half its charm. It renders an easy flow to the verse. One of the foremost joys of reading poetry is to be witness to the poet's capacity to transform the ordinary to the extraordinary. Romantic era poems in their lush description of nature are the finest example of this. This poem, seemingly obscure in popular culture, is charmingly simple as it describes the sight and sound of a bird. One of the few resources I found on the internet says it was written at the request of John Keats' sisters and well, what a fine gift it is to give. It is set to the tune of Julia to the Wood Robin, but it is music even without that. Paraphrasing exactly, stay, red-breasted bird, stay. Stay so that I can see your sparkling eyes. Stay, don't bow your head to the fly. Wobblers are insectivorous birds. Stay while I tell you what an emblem of love you are. Stay, let your impatient wings rest while I speak my thoughts to you. When the summer nights are heavy with dew and the summer day is warm, the flowers that blossom charm you into your song. The song does what the pleasure of youth does to love, enhance it to unparalleled delight. And when there are uncontrollable storms sweeping the leafless forests, nothing offers more comfort than your soft melody. Even when love is treacherous and all pleasure lost, your song draws a smile amid the tears. We turn to poetry for a lot of different reasons. To find joy, to fly to untraveled worlds, to get lost in the magic of language, to mourn, to find the pieces of another soul, hoping they might mirror ours. And strangely enough, we turn to nature for a lot of the same reasons. From the froth and sea waves, to the sunlight breaking through darkness in the forests, to the brightest stars on the darkest night, to the cry of the baby bird, to the stubborn blossom. Every time that we open our casements and take a deep breath, we are so much the richer.